Welcome back everybody, Upgrade Guy here. So in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you the easiest process to root your Android box or your Android phone if you want as well, all the way from Android 4 to Android 10, no matter what the operating system is, it's gonna be a one-click root process that just involves one app and a little bit of work in order to get it downloaded and ready to go. If you don't know what rooting a device is, essentially it gives you access to all of Android's subsystems and subfolders and lets you do things that you wouldn't be able to do if you didn't root it. And this includes some apps that do require root access to the device in order to function properly or even be installed on the device. Now, before we get started, keep in mind rooting your device can be harmful and can also be dangerous to your your device's security. So only root if you have a purpose for it or if you know what you're doing. Please don't do this if you're not necessarily a pro or maybe if you don't have an, a purpose to do it. If you have an app you want to install and root your device for that purpose, then do it. If not, guys, you know, this can cause issues. It could brick your device even. Um, I don't know for every single Android box. So just be careful when you do this and do this for a purpose. And I'm sure you're here because you searched the video. So like I said before, rooting your device gives you access to subfolders and lets you do a ton of things you wouldn't be able to do beforehand. And this includes on your phone saving battery life or on your Android box, even speeding it up through various apps and cleaning it properly that you wouldn't be able to do if you didn't have root access. Like always guys, smash that subscribe button down below. It helps the content out a ton. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And then also comment down below why you're rooting your device or why you'd want to, because I want to know and I always find it interesting finding out. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right guys, so let's get into the first method to root your device. Um, I'm going to be showing you two different methods, but one of the methods not everybody has, so it really totally depends on your device. Um, but we're going to go through both and we'll kind of walk you through them. Uh, so we'll start by going to settings. And from here, we want to go to apps. And we're going to need to go into Google Chrome, so a browser. So we're just going to start by activating permission to that browser. So we go to Chrome, scroll down to permissions. And I just want to allow all these storage my Chrome location. There's nothing against it. Um, it's just going to allow unknown installs and save us a few minutes later on. So we'll just go ahead and back out of this. And we're going to go here and we will go to Chrome. Now the app we're using today is King Brute. Make sure you stick around guys so you know everything to do in order to use this APK. So we're going to start by clicking King Root APK. And like I said, this video will be totally done on your box. So there will be no computer needed um, whatsoever. So we do want to actually start by going to kingroot.en.uptodown.com. Now Uptodown is an APK downloading site. I do find it's really good um, and a lot easier than some of the other APK sites. Uh, and you can select older versions too, but we really uh, don't need that at all. So we're just going to click latest version just at the top there. And then from here, we would simply click download. Now this can just take a few seconds. Don't be impatient. You can see I already downloaded it, so I will just download it again. Um, if for whatever reason it does say settings on your thing, like you need to activate settings, just click on it and then just go in and allow permissions from Chrome if you didn't do the first step. So now that it's downloaded, we need to find the file. Sometimes it does pop up straight on your home screen, but on this device it doesn't. Uh, we would go ahead and go to an app called File Manager. Now this is where all your files go when you download them. We want to go Local Memory. And then from here, we want to go Download. From here, we'll find the King Root version we just downloaded. Now I have two of them because like I said, I had already downloaded one. We'll go ahead and click that. And then we will install. Now that we have King Root installed, I can show you how to use it and get your device rooted in a matter of a few minutes. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into that once this is installed. Okay, now that we're at your home screen, there's a little trick that you're probably going to have to do because it does glitch out uh, the first time that I opened it and I did have to do something in settings in order to keep it open. So we're going to open King Root and then from here we're just going to allow access to all that stuff. You have to anyways. So just click continue. And then from here just press the OK button a few times to get out of all this stuff and then press try it. Now, the first time I did this, it glitched and froze like that. So I'm happy you guys get to see that. We're just gonna go into settings and we're gonna go apps and we're gonna go see all apps. And it shouldn't be in this first section, but when you go to system apps, 
you're now going to want to scroll down. Let's just give it two seconds. So you're going to want to scroll down until you see King Roots. There it is. And we just want to go force stop. Now this is going to force stop the app and basically fully close it. And now when we open it back up, it does actually work the second time, which is great. Um, this is more made for phones, but it, I have, it does work fine on Android box. So that's really good. Um, so it does have a couple different features here once you root your device, such as system security, um, and it'll check out apps and stuff like that. Uh, and you can see at the top there, it says not root. So we're actually gonna click that. And what we wanna go is over here, and we wanna go to try root. And we're gonna click that. Now this process can take anywhere from five minutes all the way up to an hour. So just be patient while this is happening. Uh, your device will probably restart. Now, like I said, this I, I can't control if this process works. It could brick your device. I'm not saying it will, but it's, maybe there's that 0.5% chance that it will. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're using it. So we'll come back when this whole process is done and make sure the device is rooted. Okay, now my device has started back up. Now, if it was successful, you should get a message that says root successful in green. Uh, I accidentally started a little bit later, so um, I did get it. And we'll go into King Root and we can actually just confirm that the root did work. So if we click on the top left here, you can see this is a little glitchy on Android box. You will see root successful model mbox system 10 um, this model restricts root access, but it is rooted, so it doesn't matter. So the root was actually successful. Um, so now you know that your device is 100% rooted, uh, and you can do what you need with apps that do give do need root access in order to use them. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and teach you the easier root process uh, that can be a little quicker depending on what kind of Android box you have. All right, guys, so I went ahead and unrooted this device. So I'll just show you once again that it's unrooted um, just for proof of video. So you guys know this method works. So we're going to click on it. You can see not root. Same exact device. We're going to press back. We're now going to go into settings. Now, guys, this is not available on every device. So some devices do have this option. And if they do, don't use King Root. This is the easiest way of doing it. Um, if they don't, then you're going to have to use King Root, obviously. So you're going to want to go to settings and we're going to go to device preferences. And then from here, we're going to want to go to about and scroll all the way down. And you just want to spam build until you get a thing that says you are a developer. It's about, I think, eight clicks. So it's not very many. That makes you a developer and you can do other things on it. So now we want to go up and some boxes now actually have a button called root switch, which can switch you back from and forth from root access to not root access. So yes, guys. I did show you the harder way first, I'm sorry. But it's just how it had to be because not everybody has this button. So we're gonna click on it and we're gonna click okay. And now this is essentially restarting your device. So you just have to be patient for a few seconds. This process can take uh, usually around one to two minutes I found. It's definitely the quickest way to root your device, but I'm just gonna stay on with you guys without any cuts. So you can see when it starts back, start back. So you can see when it starts back up, God, I can't talk sometimes that your device is 100% rooted and you're ready to go to install any apps you need that that need access to root uh, that need root access on your device. Guys, it is hard talking to this video sometimes. It's like a grind. And actually surprisingly, I've never had anybody ask me this, but I do like one take for 99% of my videos, uh, which is pretty good, I think. Uh, I have tried to do a little bit better and do a few more takes, but I feel like sounding real to you guys is better than um, trying to make it seem super, super professional. Although I still think it's kind of professional, but who knows? So we're going to go ahead and go into King Root. And I will show you guys again that this root process was successful and that you were able to root your device uh, just by using that root switch. So let's open up King Root. And we're going to click this top left again. And you can see checking root status. And we're going to get a thing here that says root successful very, very shortly. Root check timed out, not what we want. But anyways, it is rooted, so the device is 100% ready to go. And like I said, install any devices that you need. Um, once again, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you check out our Facebook support group, which is now available for free. So you can ask any personalized questions 
for me that you would like. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next video.